Okay, we're here this afternoon at Thorpe Lee Fisheries and we're going to be doing some solid bag fishing. Typical day ticket scenario, small bright baits, PVA bags, and we're gonna have a go with the little fella hook baits and we're gonna have a go with the new four mil pellets and put them to the test. But before we do, I'm gonna show you my solid bag setup. So first of all, just talking you through the hardware, start this end and we've got not a long leader, you don't need a long leader for this solid bag fishing. We've got about two, two and a half feet of ESP original lead, original camo lead core, 45 pound braking strain, spliced loop at one end, that'll just tie straight onto the main line with a five turn grinner. Moving down, got one of these fantastic coated leads from the lead shed, they look, you just can't even see them, they don't even look like a lead in the water. The other good thing about these, which we're going to look into when we tie the bag a little bit is uh, the coating will actually absorb some of the some of the glug so we're actually going to be dipping this in some cola and using getting the lead to actually give off some some food signals that's pushed on to a size 8 ESP flexi ring swivel gives it a little bit of movement there the ring and the whole idea with this is that we're going to use a short hook link we've got a two and a half ounce inline lead here and Hopefully the carp's going to hit the lead really, really quick, nail it, and it won't be able to eject the hook. Okay, as far as the hook link goes, very, very simple this. You can see there, we've got, a, you see a very, very short hook link. It's about four inches, needs to be short enough to get in, in the bag. It's a supple braid, it's 15 pound sink link, ESP sink link. I've got a figure of eight loop knot in one end, got a nice big loop in there, you can see. Moving down. As a KD style setup with a size 8 ESP curve shanks hook. Just two turns at the bottom, the hair's pulled out the back and then five turns the other side of the hair. You've probably seen this really well documented rig and you can see the angle there, really, really kicked out. Very, very aggressive. A little bit further down, we've got a little number one split shot just pinched on directly below the hook bait just to sink the hook bait and keep it critically balanced. These, these hook baits are so buoyant, you need a reasonably sized shot underneath to keep it on the deck. And then the all important bit at the end, we've got one of these cracking little 10 mil barrels, the little fellas. This is a juicy fruit, x light little fella. And then I've just tipped that off with a bright pink hair stop. Just in case they're not feeling the yellow here today, hopefully they'll spot the pink. And all we're gonna do to attach this, nice and simple, is just thread the whole loop through the ring swivel like so, open the loop up and just thread the hook and the hook bait through the loop carefully without getting the hook in my finger and just loop to loop it and tighten it down and that is as simple as it is, that's all you want and the whole idea is that this lot will be in the PVA bag, the carp will pick the bait up and bang it will hit the heavy end of the lead, we're not giving it too much rope we're not going to give it too much time to spit it out it's going to hit the lead nice and early on the short hook link ultra sharp hook it's going to nail it and hopefully result in some takes later on this evening okay so we're into the first one of the session here at Thorpe Lee Fisheries rod's only been out 20 minutes maybe a solid bag and we're in Hopefully I'll manage to keep him away from the island. Hasn't really shaken his head too much this one, he stayed uh, stayed pretty deep. So I'm hoping he might be half decent. First one of the session. Safely in the net. Nice scaly one. First one of the session, solid bag, T1 pellets, T1 cow cola, and one of our new 8mm little fellas. Nice 8mm barrel, short braided rig, and a 2.5 ounce inline lead. First cast, rod have been out 20 minutes tops, and uh, we're off the mark already. Happy days.